Is it possible to do that experiment with Forrest Gold and, and Gold mixed together to make a crown? Absolutely. If you did it with Forrest Gold and Gold, you'd find that Forrest Gold is less dense than Gold. Hi, I'm Ayman. We are going to math mornings with my brothers and my sister at, at Yale University. Okay, we're going to go to the Math Mornings building. This is Yale University on Sunday morning. When you walk in, you have to fill in a card um, that you get qualified for a raffle, after you try a raffle, and then after that, there are snacks and demonstrations, and after that, there's a lecture. Okay, I already signed in for math mornings. Now I'm going to um, eat and see the demonstrations, and also there's a lecture. I got my and my Okay, now I'm going to see the demonstration. I have no idea what I'm making, but I'm just and different colors. So, the red colors are five-sided, the yellow colors are three-sided, and I'm going to try putting the five-sided The blue is four-sided. Math is a really passionate subject for me and my family, except for my dad. For example, my brother and uh, went to a team competition for math. Kids. So today we have one of our faculty uh, here at the department. Thanks, Hager. Thanks, all of you, for, for being here. Our community has lived uh, a long, long time ago. So he died in 212 BC. And we know that exactly because he died in the sack of Syracuse. I can tell you that gold is about 19.3 grams per cubic centimeter. So water is one gram per cubic centimeter. So gold weighs almost 20 times as much per volume as what? How many cubic centimeters of gold do we have? So we divide. And you'll find that you have about 51.8 cubic centimeters of gold. But silver is much lighter. It's about half as dense. And the moment is equal to the mass times the distance. Here he has a little lump of gold. Now it's in balance. So now what? So this is the principle of the lever, but his big discovery that moment, the reason why he shouted Eureka was because he had discovered Blins, one half of the method of Archimedes. So this was, this was what Archimedes asked to have inscribed on his tombstone. We can expand this out, so it's x squared minus 2xr plus r squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. And so this y, so this is, this is what we're interested in. Y is the height of that slice there, which is the radius of our circle here. So when we have pi times y squared, that's pi times 2xr minus x squared. He just was able to do it because he was a genius. So are there any questions? If you go back to the experiment with the crown, yes. is it, po it can you do it, is it possible to do that experiment with Forrest Gold and, and Gold mixed together to make a crown? Absolutely. If you did it with Forrest Gold and Gold, you'd find that Forrest Gold is less dense than Gold. And so if you had a balance where you had Forrest Gold on one side and Gold on the other side, and it was balanced, and you dropped it into water, 
whose gold would rise up and the gold would sink? So if someone tries to trick you, take it to the bathtub. <laughs> So we need a volunteer to pick a random one here. What? Would you like to volunteer? Okay. So, you want to come, you want to come around? I'm just going to mix these a little bit. Okay, I'm going to hold it like this so you can't see anything. Now just reach up and, and dig around. Uh, is there a Patrick Newman? Okay, there's no Patrick Newman. So Patrick Newman is our non winner. Right you have to be in the room to win. Okay. Good again. Ones that have wrapping. Wait, there's more tape on the side. Hey, I thought I was opening it. Mm. What could it be? Oh, it's a science clock. A ship? Yeah, it could be a map. Oh, it's a it's science clock. Oh no, I, I'm, I should recycle this. Well, it's all ripped up. Okay, 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 so one o'clock is physics, two, one o'clock is physics, two o'clock is nuclear physics, three o'clock is astronomy and uh, thermodynamics, thermodynamics, four o'clock is genetics, five o'clock is geology and chemistry, six o'clock is physics, seven o'clock is geology, eight is astronomy, Nine is chemistry, ten is um, human anatomy and physics, eleven o'clock astronomy, twelve o'clock and meteorology. Let's see what it looks like. Wow, it's white. The cat ran away because it's so white. So this must be one, this must be two, this must be three, this must be four, 
This must be five. This must be six. This must be what is seven. The, this, uh, it's, this one must be eight. This one must be nine. This one must be eleven. I mean ten. This must be eleven. And this must be twelve. Okay, I'm going to take the clock out now. I have to get it loosened, and then I can just spin it. Well, and I fell out, and voila! All I have to do now is put in the batteries, and then it will move. Hi, this is Simon. This is Sami. This is Anissa. This is Skinny. And thanks for watching this video. Please like, rate, comment, and subscribe. And please watch my other videos with the rest of my crew. Thank you.